Okay, so now we're going to have a look at sanding back the uh, filler. And uh, this is the water-based filler, the polyfiller or spackle, as I think it's called in America. And uh, a couple of tips is that I'm going to be working first with the files, and it's a good idea to to use quite sort of long sweeping motions. The reason being is that you're wanting to sort of uh, give the form a sort of continuity. So if, if you just use a very tiny file and keep working like that, then you'll, you won't sort of have this sort of nice clean surface. You'll have sort of an undulating surface which will just look a little bit less pleasing on the eye. So the other thing is again, I guess it almost feels like a sort of, uh, you know, sort of manicure or something, nail filing, in that basically this is just sandpaper stuck to a board, a uh, tongue depressor or a lollipop stick, and again I'd be finishing by giving long sweeps like that. And that means that also if I see that an area is not getting any abrasion, then it means I've got a little pothole, so I may need to go back and fill that in later with a little bit more. Though don't forget, you're going to be covering this, if you wish, in a, a, a U-pole, a car body filler, which is much tougher. So it doesn't matter if there's a few, few little errors in this. Um, <clears throat> one thing worth noting as well is another good tip is not only to use a block of styrofoam to, to give a sort of sanding block, but also to affix a sheet of uh, sandpaper so that you can get this base really, really flat. Um, the final thing as well I've done on the model is to essentially fill in some of the areas with white tack, which doesn't show up very well, but I've basically stopped the dust from getting in too deep. Inevitably some dust will get in, and if you've got access to a sort of an airline or um, even just blowing out with a small straw, will do just fine. And again, I've put masking tape over these little uh, switches so that, again, I don't have to do too much work cleaning it out later. But the final thing to say as well is just make sure you've got an appropriate uh, level of filter uh, mask. And the FFP3 is one that'll stop things like MDF and things like that. So it's a, it's a really good, good barrier for your health if you're doing this sort of thing uh, more than once. So... Um, it's, it's again, there's quite a lot of uh, exposure with these sorts of things if you are working in the industry, so try and take it seriously, and uh, they're really only a couple of dollars or a couple of pounds, so it's well worth the investment.